Hi everyone, hope everyone is having an awesome event. My name is Brett, I'm the grant program manager here. And today we are going to walk through the grant program, what it is, how we support the ecosystem and some interesting updates and new ways we're growing the grant program. So the grant program deploys resources toward the creation of critical smart contract infrastructure, the addition of new and high quality data to bring into smart contracts, the launching of key services around smart contracts and supporting the uh, supporting the creation of new web3 use cases building an economically fair world so we do this through financial support but also through other ways right so access to team members getting the right advice and basically ongoing support to make sure that the project is successful so the grant program supports teams throughout the entire ecosystem, essentially. New tech that enables developers to build better and faster, development environments to help devs get started, community resources to guide those through building with Chainlink, the maintenance and upgrading of critical infrastructure, uh, integrations that expand Chainlink into new blockchain environments, and of course, tools and tech that enable our node operator community to prosper. So the grant program essentially has five areas where we focus. Uh, one, we support our developer community. Two is integrations. Uh, the third is bounties. Uh, we also issue research grants to innovators and thought leaders who can help advance smart contract and Oracle technology, as well as social impact, supporting projects implementing hybrid smart contracts to create a more economically fair and sustainable world. So to start, we'll cover uh, bounties and bounty campaigns. So these are crucial as they allow for a few different things. First, they allow you to improve the robustness and security of the Chainlink network. Um, but they also allow you to crowdsource these improvements from brilliant developers all over the world. And what happens is you ultimately reward the community for some supporting the growth and the security of the Chainlink network. So second, we'll cover some of uh, the research grants. So basically we're providing resources to teams and or organizations that generate insights, specifically data-driven insights into how we can further improve Oracle networks, data infrastructure, hybrid smart contracts, things like that. So on the right, you'll see some of uh, the more interesting past research grants, IC3 being a collaborative research initiative for smart contract technology based at Cornell Technion. Um, which consists of fac faculty members from uh, a bunch of different universities like UC Berkeley and Carnegie Mellon. Uh, separately, we actually issued an, a research grant to a uh, senior researcher at Carnegie Mellon around fairness uh, or order fairness and fair sequencing services, as well as things like uh, off-chain aggregation. Um, uh, another interesting grant was the IEEE grant which essentially supported the creation of an entirely new study group creating a common technical standard around Oracle networks and hybrid smart contracts. So next we'll kind of run through integrations. So integrations are incredibly important as Chainlink's technology is blockchain agnostic. So wherever you want to build your application, you should have the ability to use Chainlink's technology. So these grants also bring new functionality to more and more developer ecosystems, which means bringing new applications and you use cases like DeFi to a broader array of developers and thus a broader array of end users. So on the right, you'll kind of see uh, some blockchains that we're integrated with or integrating with uh, some names that you should know but also as a shout out, uh, some of the really, really cutting edge and innovative teams that we're working with to make sure that those uh, integrations are done the right way. So next we'll kind of cover community grants. Um, this will have actually a few different slides as a large part of the grant program is dedicated to supporting and growing our awesome community. So here you'll see, uh, you know, a couple hexagons in, in order, one through six. Um, one of the ways I like to think about this is how can we support the entire developer journey, right? So you go from awareness to, oh, I think I know what Chainlink is, to, to learning, to building, to launching new applications, and ideally 
uh, building new businesses, right, and creating a new ecosystem. So the grants program, in order to do that, we support projects that educate developers, provide ongoing resources and support, uh, but also the necessary tools that developers need to, to build new applications, new use cases. So a great example of a grant that was dedicated to these resources was a recent announcement to support Link River, which was also, uh, or who are also an active and super supportive and helpful community team. Uh, and they're essentially creating a website dedicated towards uh, researching and providing solutions to node error logs to the rest of the node operator community. So part of the grants program is also updating and expanding upon the critical open source components that we all rely on, as well as other solutions that aid in functionality, usability, security of the network, right? So on the right, you'll see some more great examples of different ways that we accomplish this. So uh, one, you can see uh, we issued a grant to Chainsafe in terms of for them to update and modernize uh, a critical open source library uh, in Web3.js, uh, a number of different node monitoring and security solutions, as well as a grant to apply blockchain to update and expand the Chainlink hard hat starter kit, which is probably the most popular in environment for deploying and debugging smart contracts. So this slide is uh, a little bit more about how the grant program is expanding but we truly want to support innovators and especially those innovators that are uh, creating the infrastructure around building these new use cases whether that's new data sources combining Chainlink with other open source technologies to enable new ideas so you'll see filecoin and ipfs there um, or bringing new data into smart contracts that can create products that we never thought were possible previously so a great example of that is uh, Etherisk and Acre Africa using weather data to build parametric insurance for crop farmers throughout Africa. I think also if you're a developer and you're looking for inspiration on what is possible, what you can build and, and what is out there that you would really want to devote time towards building, I think uh, looking up this uh, 77 use cases uh, blog post on the, the Chainlink blog is, is a great place to start. I also think if you're not a developer and you really want to understand the application of Chainlink's technology to solve really big, important problems, this is something that, that you definitely want to read. So last but certainly not least, we have social impact. Uh, because Chainlink Labs has a mission of building an economically fair world for everyone, this means social impact is incredibly important to the work we do. Um, and it's embedded in most of the work that we do. So social impact can happen through many different vehicles. I wanted to highlight some of the ways that we view working within social impact. And one, one of these examples is working with large nonprofits and NGOs on existing initiatives, but also augmenting and expanding uh, their projects with our support and our expertise. So UNESCO, uh, we were working with the UNESCO Global Education Coalition to increase access to education around smart contracts and emerging technologies and emerging markets. With UNICEF, we awarded a grant to support the UNICEF Innovation Fund and the UNICEF Crypto Fund, essentially pooling money together to solve challenges uh, that UNICEF is focused on. Again, not just providing financial resources, but support in the form of mentorship, access to expertise, et cetera. Um, the Open Earth Foundation is a really good example of working with the nonprofit to uh, solve critical world problems with new use cases that Chainlink Oracle Networks can provide in that uh, we're essentially supporting the first uh, implementation of oracles related to CO2 concentrations for uh, the automatic calculation and reporting of um, EGR, the emission gap report, right? So that is used to track progress on climate change. Uh, and used in international climate negotiations. Uh, secondly, we view social impact through the lens of so supporting social innovations directly, especially ones using hybrid smart contracts to solve these problems. We talked about Etherisk earlier. Um, Shrub, uh, who was also a prize winner at the Spring Hackathon, received uh, grant support in order to continue building the open source infrastructure needed to bring disaster insurance to DeFi, right? So uh, how do we utilize data around hurricanes and earthquakes to provide this natural disaster insurance? And then Green World, 
uh, is how are we uh, pulling in data and creating hybrid smart contracts that can reverse uh, the effects of climate change, essentially using satellite data to automatically dispense financial rewards and the uh, format of like tokenized carbon assets to uh, those that are actually successfully performing regenerative agriculture practices. So that brings us to kind of where we are going. Um, essentially, more of everything we talked about uh, is where we are going. Um, more than ever, we are syncing with our developer ecosystem in order to understand how we can best support them. Um, we are ramping up our social impact and uh, our social impact initiatives. Uh, so you will be seeing more exciting things around working with NGOs, nonprofits, specific, specific projects, and uh, especially new data sources allowing for new types of smart contracts and products to be built. And then for the expanding kind of the community efforts. So how can we partner with other amazing Web3 organizations for co-grant partners, uh, co-grant programs, expand our hackathons and other types of startup support initiatives. Um, and that's really the presentation. I'm really excited about all the things that we've done and I'm even more excited about the things that we will do. I will say if what you are building or working on doesn't fit neatly into one of these categories, you should still apply. We still want to hear from you. Um, and also if you have ideas for things that should be built that would be helpful that you can't build yourself, feel free to reach out. We have a grants channel on Discord. You can see my uh, Discord handle there. Uh, you won't be bothering me if you reach out. And I really look forward to seeing more applications and more ideas coming from the community. Thank you so much, Brett.